So we need to determine whether the given matrices are inverses of each other. To do, um, to do so, we need to find their products AB and BA. And if both of these products are identity matrices, then A and B are inverses of each other. So um, let's start by finding product AB. So AB equals matrix A times matrix B. So to do it, to find the product of two matrices, we need to uh, find the dot products of corresponding rows of the first matrix and corresponding columns of the second matrix. So we will have um, eight times negative one plus three times three plus negative four times zero. Next, we will have eight times negative one plus three times four plus negative four times one. And here we will get eight times negative one plus three times zero plus negative four times negative two. In the second row, we have negative six times negative one plus negative two times three plus three times zero. Next, we have negative six times negative one plus negative two times four plus three times one. And finally, we get negative six times negative one uh, plus negative two times zero plus, uh, okay, I'll move this a bit. I'll move that, yes, plus three times negative two. And in the last row, we have negative three times negative one plus one times three plus one times zero negative three times negative one plus one times four plus one times one and finally negative three times negative one plus one times zero plus one times negative two okay now let's do the calculations so so uh, for the first entry, we have negative 8 plus 9, which is 1, uh, and uh, plus 0, so it's just 1. Here we have negative 8 plus 12, which is 4, and minus 4, so here we have 0. Next, we have negative 8 plus 0, plus 8, which is 0. Here we have ne uh, 6 minus 6 plus 0, so 0. Here we have uh, 6 minus 4, which is negative 2, plus 3, it's 1. Uh, then we have 6 plus 0 uh, minus 6, so here we have 0. Uh, in the last row we have 3 plus 3 plus 0, so we have 6 here. Uh, next we have um, 3 plus 4 plus 1 which is 8 and here we have 1 so as we can see a b is not an identity matrix so that means that this means that uh, uh, matrix a and matrix b are not inverses of each other so the answer is no